Lots of people have uh, tended to go to Twitter and other social media platforms, including some of the people involved in the trial themselves. How important has the role of social media been in the Oscar Pistorius' murder trial? Look, this, this trial from a social media uh, perspective has been unprecedented worldwide. I mean, the last trial of this size that was as public uh, as, as the Oscar Pistorius trial was the O.J. Simpson trial. Now, that happened in the, the mid-90s when the internet and social media practically didn't exist. So this is, it's a world first and it's, it's unprecedented. We have uh, social media on the one hand and the internet at, 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 at a maturity level. Uh, and we have a, a, a massive trial um, of local and international importance. And it's, it's somewhat of an irony that it actually happened in South Africa. Who would have actually thought that, uh, you know, we would see all these precedents in, in South Africa? So we've had, uh, we've had journalists live tweeting from the, the event. We've had the event uh, live streamed from, uh, from, from sites like News24. So for many people, uh, like social media, the internet's been one of the first places that they've got the information. We've had the judge rule on issues of social media, first uh, banning live tweeting and blogging from the trial, then obviously uh, lifting that, that order. We've had the accused himself uh, tweeting, uh, probably ill-advised that he was tweeting, but tweeting nonetheless, and then obviously media jumping on those 140 characters and trying to interpret what he's saying, what, what, he's, what, what, what he's meaning. Uh, we've had um, a, a witness referring to, to, to social media and then one of the advocates actually saying, well, you know, are you just re re recounting events from your memory or, or are you recounting events uh, that you read on Twitter, for example? So, I mean, it's, it's been unprecedented worldwide in, in South Africa and, and worldwide. And I think the, 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 the big story here is, you know, the Oscar, Oscar was, was such a hero to people. Um, the, the trial, the facts of the trial are so well known that uh, you know, people um, you know, felt that they wanted to participate in the trial, wanted to add their opinion. And of course, social media is the perfect medium for that because it allows people to participate, to comment and, and interact. Matthew, do you think the, the decision by the judge right at the beginning of the trial, you know, in, in support of what she called open justice and allowing the media to come in, uh, helped a lot in terms of making people feel that they could turn to social media platforms and have views on this big trial? Absolutely. I, I think it allowed um, people to participate. I think you have a filtering effect. The, the journalists at the trial are live tweeting. The, tw the tweets go out and, you know, we tend to talk about Twitter a lot, but it, it, it happened on Facebook too. Uh, we have journalists uh, uh, tweeting and then we have uh, people commenting on those, the, the, those tweets and adding their opinion. Uh, we had a dedicated uh, channel on, on DSTV on, uh, uh, to the Oscar trial. Um, on that channel, we had uh, dedicated social media segments. Uh, social media was baked into the discussions. You know, uh, law experts uh, referred to people's comments. Journalists referred to people's comments. So, you know, from a journalism point of view, from a legal point of view, I mean, it's been unprecedented um, um, to the extent where the public has actually participated uh, in the trial. And, you know, uh, the, the, the public's comments, the public's voice and the public's influence um, has certainly been felt in, in, the, in, in, in this trial like, like we've never seen before.